Hey guys, today we're going to be learning how to make a cute trinket dish for summer. In your kit, you're going to find a variety of paints, a paintbrush, and some air dry clay. We're going to start with the clay. So the first thing we want to do is roll it out flat so that we have a base. So I'm just going to knead it and use my fingers to press it out. And it's going to look it's going to look pretty rough to start out with, but We'll smooth it out as we go. You want to make sure you get it nice and thin so that we use all the clay available. All right, taking the little plastic cup that the clay was in, I'm just going to stamp out how big I want my circle to be. and then kind of use my fingernail to cut it out. All right, so this is gonna be the bottom of our trinket dish. Now we're gonna give it a little bit of a lining so I'm just going to take from my access clay, I've taken just a little, little piece off of it, and I'm just going to roll it out like a snake. Because we want this to go around, it's going to be the border. It's a little tricky, but you're going to try to get it all to be even. So no like clumps like this in the middle. looks like the length that I want, so I'm going to go ahead and just lightly wrap it around and then attach the two ends. Alright, so I've taken it, the same cup that we got the clay from and put just a little bit of water in it. I'm just going to dip my fingertips in and kind of smooth it out. And this is going to help our border stick to the base better. All right, once you have it smooth to your heart's desire, we're going to take the rest of the extra clay and make a little frog. So I'm just going to pinch off about the size of my thumb. And we're just going to roll it into an oval. Like that. And this is going to be the base for our frog. Now to get it to stick to the base, we're just gonna do this thing called striking, which is literally just drawing a couple lines to give the base some texture where we want the frog to go. And then drawing the same lines on the bottom of the frog. And that's just gonna help it stick. Just press them in. There we go. Now we're gonna take two smaller ball clay pieces and these are gonna be the eyes. Pinch off a little more. Don't worry about getting them a perfect size. Um, we're just gonna roll both of those into little balls. Well, they're roughly the same size. Cool. All right, so we're going to do the same thing again, taking the end of our paintbrush. Just make a couple lines where we want the eyes to go. And stick them on there.
Kind of looks like a Mickey Mouse head. All right, and then we're gonna give him a little inner tube so that it looks like he's floating on the water. So I'm gonna pinch off just a little more and again, roll it into a snake. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the border. Just roll it out until it's all roughly the same size. And long enough to go around the frog. Oops, still too short. Just wrap it around. If there's any access like there is here, you can just pinch it off. I'm just making sure it sticks to the base and it's secured to the frog. Now, if you'd like, you can take more water and just kind of smooth out any little um, imperfections that you don't want. And voila. Now for the less fun part, we now need to wait 24 hours for this to dry before we can start painting. And once it's dry, we're gonna just go in with our paints. All right, once our paint is completely dry, we'll move on to the last step, which is sealing it all with Mod Podge. All you want to do is just paint an even coating of Mod Podge and it's going to dry clear. And that way all the paint will stay on and it'll just seal our little figure in a little better. And be sure to paint Mod Podge over the entire clay sculpture. that Mod Podge is dry, you've got one froggy boy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us today, um, and don't forget to visit East Baton Rouge Parish Libraries.